Welcome back to I Get It Live with a SOLIDWORKS basic tutorial on how to rotate a part origin in SOLIDWORKS. Please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get new video updates. We can easily rotate a model by using the middle mouse button and as we rotate the model, the coordinate system also moves with it. The Y axis is normal to this top face. We now want to rotate the model and have this face be normal to the Z axis. And to do so, we need to use the Move Copy command. So from the Insert menu, under Features, we have the Move Copy command. Click on the command, and the Move Copy Body Property Manager appears. If you do not see these options, scroll down to the bottom of the Property Manager, and select on the Translate Rotate Radio button. Now we need to select the body that we wish to modify. And a triad appears with the X, Y, and Z axes, as well as the rings in order to rotate about those axes. As I click and drag on the ring about the z-axis, a ruler appears as well as a preview of the rotation of the model, and in the property manager, the degrees also changes for the z-axis. I'll go ahead and revert back and enter zero degrees for the z-axis rotation, and I will select to rotate around the x-axis. Again, we would like to have the z-axis be normal to the top face of the cylinder. And for that fact, we would rotate about the x-axis by 90 degrees. And once satisfied, we click on the green check to complete the command. And as you can now see that the z-axis is pointing in the direction of the extrude for the cylinder. And as I rotate the model with the middle mouse button, you can clearly see the coordinate system follow along with the z-axis pointing in the direction of the cylinder extrude. And there you have it, a simple command to rotate your part origin. You can undo the command by simply going to the Feature Manager Design Tree and selecting the feature and deleting it. If you have any questions or would like to see something specific, please comment below. See you next time.